Hey everybody, it's Michael again with Late Night Astronomy. If you're looking to upgrade the kit lens that came with your DSLR for astrophotography, there's one lens that's recommended by most as the next step up. That's the Canon EF 50mm 1.8 STM lens. I recently purchased this product and I've been getting very good results in imaging. Let's take a look at what comes in the box of this incredible lens. You can see here that it's packaged in a meticulous way from the good people at Canon. Encased in many plastic wrappers. Removing it from the box, we have a pristine new condition lens that is primed for astrophotography. Comparing it to the other lens that I primarily use, the 55 to 250 millimeter STM zoom lens, you can see the difference in size and aperture for this lens. Where my 55 to 250 millimeter lens is only designed for a crop sensor lens, this EF 50 millimeter can be used on cropped and full framed cameras. The difference in f6.3 and f1.8 between uh, 30 second, 60 second, 90 second exposure is a tremendous benefit in terms of editing and enhancing any of these images down the road in Photoshop or PixInsight. If you take a look at this image that I had recently processed, you can see what I'm talking about. Pinpoint sharp stars from the center of the field to the edge of the field of view with the camera stopped down to f2.8. The Rosetta Nebula, even with just 30 minutes of exposure time, is showing complex detail and even a hint of some colorization. The Christmas tree cluster is sharp and beautiful with its pinpoint stars. If there was one lens that I had to recommend to upgrade to for your first big purchase in astrophotography, it would be the Canon EF 50mm STM lens. Shooting at f1.8, a sharp field of view across the entire image, particularly if it stopped down to f2.8, are just some of the many reasons why this is a very affordable offer at around $115 on most websites. Are there any lenses that I might have missed that you use for astrophotography? Are there any other techniques that you're using for images that might lead to better results for myself? If there are, be sure to comment below. And as always, thanks for watching and be sure to subscribe to Late Night Astronomy.